because we're Pokemon challenges and we always take things a step further than they need to go. Uh, we're doing Deathless. Oh my God. Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, why? We're doing Piplup. It's stupid, but I want to do a Piplup run because it seems not optimal. Funnily enough, if I'd engaged that fight in a single battle instead of doubles, I wouldn't have wiped. That was the only way I could have wiped there. Does Australia look shiny to anyone else? Okay, we need an anagram of Piplup, Primplup, or Empoleon. Yeah, we'll just do a little pup. This is gonna be the most likely source of death in this run is just Pokemon having moves that we don't expect, right? Honestly, I, the thing is too, I could have figured it because the other Abras that we fought had Charge Beam. So Abras having like unusual moves is absolutely not unheard of, especially considering that fucking, um, hidden power is only on unknown in this game, which I also knew. So it was my bad that I died there. I should have like scouted for what Abra actually has. Bidoof, please. Bidoof, please. Bidoof, please. Unlucky. No intimidate. Starlight is not going to intimidate, my friends. All Star Eevees do, though. Oh, you can still get Cricket Talk. We'll just revive TikToker here. It's a way too good name, but we'll move the we'll move the C. A lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Look at that. Chill. Oh, I'll switch. No, oh, I can stay in for another turn. I'm not dead to crit. Now I'm dead to crit. Can level two Starly even do anything here? Probably not, huh? Time to wipe the second trainer, guys. Oh, that works. Kinda. It's fine. I think I died. I think I just died. <laughs> Okay, good. Good. Uh, don't crit. That's fine. Easy. Not even close. Like, were you guys really worried there? Seriously? Another Psyduck, please? Cringe. Guaranteed Onyx? True! I ain't using that shit though. Okay, this is not Cat Orb, this is now Bro Cat. God, how am I stuck in the Gen 4 early game again? Intimidate! Come on. One time. Nice. Very nice. 
Time really is a flat circle. Uh, I think we're good. We'll use Pipple up here and use Starlight for Turtwig. So far the music sounds fine to me. Some of them are not that great. Like the galactic theme isn't that good. I think this rival theme is good. It seems like they changed a bit of dialogue though, no? My man if he just hatched Timid with Tail Glow? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Are there online battles? I assume so. It'd be very strange if there weren't. So I think ideally we'll be using like Starly, Piplup, um, Kadabra if we get Machop again, um, Geodude. Getting closer and closer to one year of Gyarados. this totally not parasocial relationship. Better not be. Well, the thing is, the Abras in the originals had hidden power, right? Which is not a thing in this game except for on Unknown. So they gave the ones in the training school charge beam and the ones in the forest um, energy ball. Damn, no first ball catch. What happened? Okay, keep that on the team to give it as much XP as possible. Goodbye, Cricketot. Why didn't you do root walking for this game? Oh, rut locking? Um, because the zero death thing is, um, better clickbait. I might do a master lock as well. What's a master lock? It's a run that we did for sword and shield. Where, like, in addition to all the hardcore Nuzlocke rolls we did, so like where you couldn't leave a route until you defeated every trainer on it and you couldn't heal in between trainers. And we did the same for like gyms and sh It was cool. Not quite sure promo was better, but... I went to go shower and came back and we are on second attempt. What happened? Was it bad luck? Uh, let's go with that, yeah. Anyway. Uh, Machop, please? Is this game worth it? How would I possibly determine that for you? Kind of depends on your own personal value system. Um, if you've played the originals, I don't really see. The thing is, I can't think of a lot of, as of right now, having seen like 10% of the game, I can't think of a lot of justifications as to why you would want to pay $60 for this game instead of playing the old version like on an emulator but then again that's kind of unfair because you're like comparing like essentially piracy getting a game for free versus paying for it But then again, if it was easy to pirate this game, I would still recommend that you get the old games on an emulator. But that, then again, that's my personal preference. Like, 
if you like this like 3D chibi art style and the 3D animations and the mechanic changes of neurogens and stuff like that, then maybe if that's worth like 60 bucks to you. But I would just say buy the game so that the franchise becomes bigger so that my channel stays relevant. Nice, we got the Machop. I'm low key hyped for the eventual Penumbra Moon and Supernova playthrough probably a year from now. Nah, but for real, I hear they are fun and hard. A year from now is very optimistic. $60 is the standard for games. Yeah, and somehow, uh, fing Game of the Decade contenders like Hollow Knight somehow get away with selling their game for like $2 on Steam. Oops. <laughs> It's just called Coke Space now. That's the name. We're never finding this Onyx. Should I just... Does it even matter? I'm not evolving it. I guess I'll take it. Which 2D platformer costs 60 Yeah, I guess there, there lies the, therein lies the crux, right? Because nobody's gonna bring out a $60 Metroidvania game. Nobody would ever do that. I can't think of anyone who would do that. I should be able to rock smash this one. We don't have a lot of options for this anagram, do we, chat? I'm just kind of winging these at this point. Treat yourself? Bro, I just came off a f***ing three-week-long depression pit where I played 12 hours of League of Legends a day, okay? I'm not looking to treat myself tonight. Alright, let's do this. This one doesn't have sturdy, so it's an easy kill. I would... Love some orange chicken, but there's no Panda Express here. Low sweep. I will take that. Okay, quick claw, poggers. I didn't turn on animations, whoops. Okay, that's fine. Also fine. All right, so this is where it becomes harder than the... Psyduck version, especially since I didn't even get a level up. God, that model is so dog sh Oh my god. Do I want to go for the charm here? The thing is... I think Water Gun will do like 40%. And I think I get two shot. But he'll also be faster. So I'm always playing into crit. I'm not gonna go for the charm because if I have to switch off, I go for the Staravia play anyway. Water Gun here. Oh, nice quick clap rock. Charm would have been sick. Oh my god, that's so much more damage than I thought. That's how much Psyduck did. Okay, we're dead to crit now, but he's gonna potion, I think. This should be potion. Yep. 
That might not kill though. Wait, am I a torrent? I don't know if I was in torrent. Whatever. I was definitely not in torrent though. What? <laughs> so. So level 12, my boy Monferno gets power up punch. My boy Piplup gets peck at 15. Are you serious? We'll catch this again. Not using it this time. This sh we're actually tryharding now. I'm not gonna teach the rock tomb to end you, dude. I'm gonna learn rock throw in a, like a, a level. Like, I don't know, to me these chibis just, it, it just looks awful. And you can't tell me like, oh, well, they had chibis in 2D and you like the 2D. It's like, it's different. It's just different if it's 3D. Then like an approximated like 2D kind of overworld sprite. Okay. Well, Shinx lead was bad then. What if I get Para here? Half locking this game would be kind of interesting because of the mythics. I think Mew or Jirachi would make this pretty interesting, but I'm probably not going to do it because there's no speed up, so it'd be pain. I really don't see the dick and balls, guys. Like, I, I legit- can someone, like, send me a screenshot with, like, the dick and balls drawn on it? Because I- I really can't see it. Like, drawn over the logo. Yeah, with- with- with the XP share, I don't know if that would make the half-lock actually impossible. That's true. This does a lot of damage. It's actually not that bad. This might be a Zubat switch. We saw that last time we were in this position, but I'm still just gonna rock smash. Okay. I think the Link's Awakening art style also just fits the series better, and it's just different. I think it's a slightly different style, and the Link's Awakening one is done way better. I do agree, I think Link's, Link's Awakening looks amazing. What's the general opinion on this game? So the problem is, especially in the like Nintendo streamer, YouTuber, like, um, kind of world that I live in and that I see all the opinions on Twitter from and stuff, it's kind of hard to see what people, how actually people actually feel about this game because there's so much bias and so much, um, nostalgia and everything. Um, I think one thing that you can say about this game that you can say about almost every Pokemon game that's come out recently is like nobody, no matter how big of a fan is coming out and saying like, holy f this game is amazing. This game does so much right and it's so surprising, right? Um, which I feel like is a decent benchmark to see how the quality compares to like the rest of the Pokemon games. So however you felt about the last couple of Pokemon games, you're probably going to feel similar about this one. I think that's that's the easiest way to sum it up. Who do I want to switch to here? I guess I'll go Staravia. Link's Awakening went for Chibi with even eyes, mouths, attacks, and enemies. This game has Chibi models, but they still have normal eyes and mouths and hands, and it clashes. Yeah. They should have went more hard on Chibi. Maybe.
Wait, what are we talking about? You think Legends of Arceus will be Nuzlocke-able? You can literally die in that game! Your character can die! If that's not the perfect Nuzlocke game, I don't know what is. We'll make it work. Man liebt es oder man hasst es. Oder man findet es mittelmäßig. Um... Back to Geodude here, I guess. This is fake out. I bet you'll get some Pokedoobas who will pretend to face over this even though they probably played the original on emulator recently. Um, I actually don't think so. I don't think any... Like, Poketubers that I'm aware of go like super crazy for any new release usually. Like, obviously they'll pump out a lot of videos. But I don't think I've seen anyone ever like, fake be like super excited, super pumped, and super like, talk the games up. Like, some of them will like, not talk about the flaws that much. But like, I don't know, even, even, even like an A drive will usually not give you like a super fake opinion on a game. I don't, at least I don't get that feeling. Alright. Yeah, Thief kind of f me there. That's why I shouldn't have equipped an Orenberry. I should have known that from last attempt. M and J. I've never heard M and JTV talk about like the quality of Pokemon games, but he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who would give you like a fake opinion on something. I feel like he has pretty founded opinions, no? Should have QA, but it doesn't matter. JTV is actually lovely. You, you two just fill different niches. Yeah, I agree, and that's what I always say too. Like every interaction I've had with him has been nothing but like pleasant, and like, uh, like we've reacted to his videos, and like we, we've made fun of his like comedy style and everything, and like kind of rolled our eyes a little bit at some of the stuff that he does, but it's just his style. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not for us or for me. Alright. Thank you for the gift, Seb. Yeah, you heard that right. Are you delaying Valley for Griffin? I got Petri soon, Valley. People get boosted by their mates for Victoria skins at the end of the season and some reason they decide to play and ruin people's games is always a goodie. Well, that's fine, right? This is my encounter. Did you play the post game with Sword and Shield? I think so, right? Yeah, oh yeah, that's a statement, not a question. Do you think this category will be the default Pokemon category? Um, I mean, like, I'll treat it as such. So, yes. I think that's my call to make. Do I want Badu or Silcoon? How is that even a question? Okay. Running around for happiness is terrible. It is. Uh, but you know what else is terrible? 
Beautiful item. God, I want fast food so bad, chat. Uh, how am I gonna sit down and make a tuna salad when my craving is this big? Is there any other series, RPG series, that is, like, I, I don't know a lot of other, like, super old RPG series. Does, like, Dragon Quest still have the same combat system as it did when it first started out? I mean, I'm not saying that there's no room for turn-based combat. I just don't, I, I, it just feels like... All the problems that we've had with, like, the 3D animations and Pokemon games kind of being less and less immersive or feeling less and less immersive is based on the fact that we're still using this 20-year-old combat system. I think that's always going to hinder Pokemon from feeling truly alive, right? Hello, Jan. This is Game Freak. And we heard all your amazing ideas and I would like to let everyone know that we will plan on releasing another Gen 1 remake called Let's Go Mew and Let's Go Mew to hope everyone loves them. Right? Like, think about how alive the Pokemon and how true to the characters and how much personality the, the, the Pokemon and Unite have. Dude, Snorlax and Unite? I have never seen Snorlax be that close to what it felt like in like the anime or something. And Pokemon as it is in its current form can just never achieve that because it's locked into the into a combat system where the Pokemon has to sit idle for 90% of the time. And then even for 80% of the animations, it still sits idle. Right? Or yeah, look at po Pokemon or even Smash Bros Ultimate. Look at Incineroar and fucking Smash Bros, dude. What a vibrant character. That's not a turn-based problem. No, I think it is. At least partly. Obviously, it's an execution thing too, right? But like... I don't know how much you can do... The thing, the thing is, like, a different combat system would push, would obviously, like, also push the developers to, like, come up with more vibrant and alive animations for their games. And this is also part of the reason that people like following Pokemon, people like, like, Pokemon following you around so much. And that was, like, one of the cool things about Let's Go. The riding on the Pokemon or the Pokemon following you around in the overworld, that was cool and it felt, like, alive, right? That was nice. Alright, Energy Ball Abras. I'm thinking Luxio with Bite. We're f***ing them up. We're f***ing them up. For this attempt incoming, boys. I still think to this day the best any Pokemon has looked was in Pokemon Tournament. My god, I want a full game in the Tark style. Uh oh. I would have died of the exact same thing again. <laughs> I was kind of expecting to outspeed, but I'm a fing Luxio. That would have been really funny though. I really should have just gone Staravia. TBH. It's fine though, we switch now. God, that would have been a funny way to die. Although, to be fair, with the Pachirisu, I think the crit didn't matter, right?
Okay, easy. Will we play post game? I've said that so much about so many Pokemon games that we've played on this channel and then we never actually played the post game. So, probably not.